Hi guys, uh, this is Aaron. Uh, we are here in the Czech Republic in Moravka on an intensive Tai Chi seminar. And I'm glad to uh, be here with uh, Sifu Riklam uh, from Australia. Uh, and uh, we have just a, a short time for this interview. Uh, and I'd like you to, uh, I'd like to present to you uh, Sifu Rick. Hi Rick. Hi Sifu. Um, I'd like to ask you if you could tell us some, some um, introduction from your point of view. How do you see what Tai Chi is? What is the Tai Chi's meaning? Mm. Actually, yes, thank you. Actually, uh, in the classical or absolute sense, uh, the meaning of Tai Chi, although it is layered, in my opinion, the essential meaning Tai Chi is the all-pervading ultimate. In other words, for those who understand uh, Taoist cosmology, it is the state of union of the primordial yin or great mother and the primordial yang or almighty father. Tai Chi Chuan now of course, Quan in Chinese literally is the word is fist. It denotes when it's used and it's, it's a suffix. It denotes uh, Chinese martial art. On the it is indeed the martial art, and the surface meaning of Tai Chi Quan can be denoted as that as, a sup as the supreme martial art. Uh, I prefer to layer it as such, that on, upon a different layer, for me it actually means the martial art of the all-pervading and the ultimate. However, to think merely in ter terms of it being a martial art leaves the essential part of it out of the equation. Tai Chi Chuan is to, meant to be in this physical realm manifestation of this blissful primordial state of the divine. I understand and so this could be the purpose of the Tai Chi to, to regain this, this state that you were uh, talking about right now. Thank you. A absolutely. It, uh, of course, one has to hark back to the founder of tai, what we call Tai Chi Chuan, Zhang Sanfeng. Now, my understanding it seems pretty clear from all sources. Zhang Sanfeng, from the age of 10 till the age of 44, he was a resident of uh, Shaolin Monastery. Now, I can't be too sure of this, but my understanding is that because of the exceptional circumstance in which he was admitted into the monastery, Zhang Sanfeng never was uh, a monk of Shaolin. Nevertheless, he was certainly a master of Shaolin Kung Fu, including the internal 
parts and including what they call qigong. But what is not worthy in terms of our conversation is that he left the monastery at 44 seeking something beyond what he'd already attained in Shaolin. He, of course, then went on the Taoist path, etc., which I won't go into. But the central theme here is that he was seeking his union with the divine, his yoga. Uh -huh. Okay. And it's exactly as you intimated, that is the premise of the Tai Chi Chuan that he founded. So, if, if such is the case, then for those seekers who have experience of the reality that we have three channels of energy within our subtle body, that lies within the spinal cord of every human being. The premise of Zhang Sanfeng's Tai Chi Chuan is that his every intention and indeed the result he achieved, I believe, is that beyond traveling on the right hand channel of Yang, or in Sanskrit called Pingala, the sun channel, which is where Qigong travels, i.e. it is concerned with the movement and production of electromagnetic energy. Zhang Fang Feng's Tai Chi Chuan was, which was the breakthrough he sought after leaving Shaolin, is that instead of traveling on the right channel, he actually was given the gift of, of being able to travel, or his energy to travel on the central channel, the channel that begins to elevate a human soul beyond the mundane. In, as I understand it in classical or Taoist terms, okay, what we ordinarily call qi is energy on the electromagnetic, on the, on the sun side, on the right side, the yang side. Whereas Tai Chi is m supposedly different in the sense that we are now travel on the energy on a central set channel, which of course in Chinese is central is called Zhong. Uh, this energy, which in the individual, the easiest is to think in terms of the, the Sanskrit, because in Sanskrit, these things are well known in explicit detail, at least in, by, by now. I, he, in terms of the individual, the Kundalini energy, the individual's mothering energy, yeah, which travels up the central channel and if one is blessed with the gift, the breakthrough of realization, which produces meditation, then one's individual central subtle energy of Kundalini is connected, i.e. reunited with the all-pervading energy of the divine, hence all-pervading in time. Uh -huh. And when 
When this connection is made is when she comes back, i.e., a proper the, the limitless generator connecting with the individual and recharging the individual battery. For those persons who are immersed in the meditation of Sahaja Yoga, they can feel the reality of this subtle energy as a cool breeze. And for perception's sake, it's very easy to distinguish. If one is traveling on the right channel, as in Qigong, one feels the heat as this sun energy of the sun passes through. It's the sun, the warmth of the sun. Mm -hmm. In contrast, the limitless energy of the divine when she replenishes us, when she passes through our, our central nervous system, our nerves perceive it as a cool breeze. And so you, uh, you also practice some kind of meditation besides uh, Tai Chi, Juan. And uh, could you please um, explain us what kind of meditation is this? Yes, sir. so very briefly, the truth is that I, put it kindly, I was a martial arts kid. And, and I'd rather not bore the audience with all the mistakes I've made in my youth. Yeah? I mean, youth is entitled <laughs> to waste its energy. The young are entitled to be stupid, as I most certainly was. <laughs> so, all said and done, uh, I gave up all martial arts by the time I was 22 or so. And I was very fortunate by a series of cir uh, circumstances, you know, that uh, I was introduced, I was brought into the presence and by my brother into the presence of Sri Mataji Niyamala Devi in 1981. And thus began my journey into Sahaja Yoga and true meditation. So I got, she gave me my connection. I started on my journey meditation. And it was only some years later that again through another series of accidents. <laughs> I, I was apprenticed to my master in Tai Chi Chuan, uh, in Kong Kwan Si Fu. The truth, in terms of my personal journey and my reality is that That Yuan Qi Tai Chi Chuan, which I practice and teach, it is externally, uh, it is modeled on what my master in Kong Kwan taught me. However, what my students learn from me, what I teach, actually beneath the surface of the external movement, posture and appearance, underneath the surface, it is wholly informed by, by what I have learned, rather experienced and receive from Sri Mahataji. And so this is the, uh, the main difference between, so maybe it is not the main difference, but then uh, how could we get into contrast, into a contrast, the Yuan Chi, Tai Chi Chuan, and 
other kind, other forms of other or other branches or schools of Tai Chi. I have been asked this question from day one, and it's actually on that on this particular essential point difference that I started to teach Yuan Qi Tai Chi Chuan. But I'm rather reluctant to talk over much about it in the public domain. Because with all due respect to all sincere practitioners, and hopefully even followers of the way of the Tao. I absolutely wish to avoid giving any offense to any of any other practitioner, indeed any colleague in the in the world of Tai Chi Chuan. However, if I may, I will say this, that uh, what is diff- what distinguishes Yuan Qi Tai Chi Chuan in general from all other systems of movement available currently that Yuan Qi Tai Chi Chuan is not only informed but actually verified, infused and indeed authorized by the presence of the all-pervading energy which the human central nervous system feels as the cool breeze or the cool breath of the Holy Spirit. That is the essential thing that distinguishes what we do around. And dare I say, uh, if I may just turn this around one moment, uh, Aaron, I've been privileged to be here to be conducting this intensive seminar in the Morav- in the Moravka, the Moravka, the Bediski Mountains, something in Czech Republic, and you in concert with thirty other souls have been patiently practicing and studying with me now for perhaps let's just say uh, three and a half days and indeed uh, can you confirm Aaron that learning uh, this with me watching me can you confirm can you bear witness through your own central nervous system that you feel the presence and authority of the cool breeze of the divine? Yes, this is, this is true and uh, I, as I also practice uh, the Sahaja Yoga meditation, uh, those kind of tinglings that, uh, that are present in a meditation state, the vibrations that which we call them that can be cool, can be warmer, can this can pulsate uh, stronger in different uh, fingertips. And what I, I felt is uh, is the same. And actually, I also felt my uh, my inner state during these movements at the same state that I usually feel in 
meditation. Uh, so when I, uh, <laughs> there are some times when I feel, for example, this fingertip pulsating, and uh, <laughs> at home, <laughs> actually, and I also felt this during the movements. So, uh, of course, for the practitioners of Sahaja Yoga, it is uh, quite straightforward. Uh, if you do not practice Sahaja Yoga, then uh, it might be a little bit confusing for you at the present moment what these vibrations are, what these energy flows are. Uh, and uh, now I will take a little bit over uh, and with another question, this subject, and we will move a little bit forward because Tai Chi uh, is, there are a lot of directions that are mixing Qigong or Qigong with Tai Chi. And a lot of times uh, when they feel warm, warm inside, for them it means good. But from our point of view, or at least from the Sahaj point of view, it is not so benefic. Um, I don't know, Sifu, what your, your uh, feelings are about, <laughs> about <laughs> this. <laughs> you know, uh, for my sins, I've been teaching in public Tai Chi Chuan, Yuan Chi Tai Chi Chuan, since 1999. And in, in Australia, yeah, I've learned many useful lessons from the mistakes I've made in public. I, may I answer in this manner? If this was, and excuse me a moment, I, I apologize, I'm due for my next appointment. It's very briefly that, that if I was, if this was a video, interview being prepared for internal circulation within the world of Sahaja Yoga practitioners. My answer would be clear, unhesitating, absolute, and indeed perhaps a little bit brusque. However, <laughs> I am a supposedly on camera as Founder of Yuan Qi Tai Chi Chuan. I will say this much. In my youth, I was already personally intimately familiar with Qigong and its possible effects on human beings. Suffice it to say that I, I ceased all in Qigong or indeed Pranayama yoga practices in my early 20s. And the reason I was lucky enough uh, to have been instructed to devise, formulate Yuan Qi Tai Chi Chuan is precisely because one is traveling on the Tao that is benevolent, which in the human subject can be experienced as both the soothing, comforting, joy giving cool breeze of the divine, as well as the blissful state of meditation that begins with thoughtless awareness.
tell us something about your vision about this uh, or your mission with uh, this Tai Chi style, the Yuan Chi, mm -hmm. Tai Chi Chuan. The vision truly that as a result of being connected to the all-pervading limitless energy in a very real, concrete, discernible way that those who learn the way, learn this way, that it eventually spreads so that perhaps the whole world can move in grace and in constant balance. In constant balance. Whether one is practicing the dance of your Chitaki Chan or indeed doing some other dance or even doing everyday chores like housework for those who are connected in the way every movement can be Tai Chi now this is oh, wow it's very nice and uh, for example, for, for people who have just an idea about this uh, universal energy, but they didn't felt until now, for, for them it might sound like a, a fiction. Indeed, indeed. Well, uh, it is true. Uh, proof is the only thing that matters truth through personal experience. So uh, I hesitate to, that's why I hesitate to say a lot more about this. Um, except perhaps, well, something that has uh, um, broader reach at the moment, which does carry uh, the grace of this divine energy is uh, Sahaja Yoga meditation which is, I understand nowadays, is basically global in its outreach. So if I was addressing an audience of meditators of Sahaja Yoga, then what I just said uh, would not sound far-fetched to them because all of them have already experienced the, the blessedness <laughs> of this yeah. loving energy. So, for the, for the rest, for one who has not experienced that, that in, incidentally, uh, most of my students come without this prior experience. And they are more fortunate in the way that I, up to this point, I've never advertised that, you know, such a thing is available. Simply mm -hmm. that they're, they're put through their paces and majority of students in the very first lesson, they begin to feel this. At, at, the, at the most amorphous level is they all say they feel good they feel calm and peace follows but then shortly thereafter they do feel the murmurings the movements the washing of this energy until it transmutes for them as their consciousness is elevated that they actually feel the cool breeze. And could you please tell us, uh, for those of, of the people who would be interested in uh, Yuan Chi, Tai Chi Chuan, 
where could find you, for example, to to practice or or sure. at least to get in contact with uh, with uh, yes. this new style? Yes. Well, you know, uh, I'm afraid it's early days yet in terms of any uh, global outreach. Uh, this, the school uh, was started in Sydney and is still based in Sydney, okay, where I myself am based uh, much of the year thus far, because we've just in the last three, four years started tr branching out. Uh, the other thing to note, uh, if you don't happen to be in Sydney, which is 99.9% .9 of the world's <laughs> population. <laughs> but thanks, thanks to friends in Europe, like Aron, uh, I'm here uh, every Northern European summer to con conduct seminars which are mainly intensive in nature. Now, thus far, we've, uh, we've only just begun, so it, we've only uh, uh, offered it so far in Italy, and several places in Italy, of course, and now for the first time in the Czech Republic. Hopefully, if things work out, uh, we, we might see people in Vienna, perhaps people may find it a poor substitute, but uh, we do uh, offer our basic, the form of 108, in, of course in three sections, in the form of DVDs. Uh, you can contact us in the first instance, I suppose the most the easiest is just through the website uh, mm -hmm. www.constantbalance.com. Okay, okay. And uh, if you would have a, a last message for our audience, uh, what would be it? Well, uh, I'm always stumped at this point. There's too many things to say. Uh, I'll try to be a little disciplined. Okay, people always talk about benefits. I often don't talk about benefits nowadays because allegedly the whole world knows about the claimed benefits of Tai Chi Chuan. However, I am empowered to talk specifically about the benefits of Yuan Qi Tai Chi Chuan. Okay. So pardon me if I probably am selective in focusing on the benefits that seem to accrue, occur incidentally more often in Yuan Qi Tai Chi Chuan. Okay. Physical, um, apart from attaining great health with everyone talks about, so that's that's a positive and you know in improvement in longevity. Okay, everyone, which everyone claims. We do have uh, some anecdotal experience of students being cured of incurable conditions, uh, including. Uh, A few, in several cases, uh, nerve-based conditions where, for example, you know, uh, they're in constant pain because somehow some nerve endings are pressed or whatever. Uh, in every case, the improvements and cures uh, we talk about, there are only cases where the student, i.e. the patient, has already tr tried every avenue of medicine and failed to get any healing mm -hmm. that they come to us. And I'm, I'm talking about 
improvements and cures in light of those only, those that have already found their conditions incurable outside or elsewhere. Okay. Uh, mental, of course, everybody talks about the calm and then even breathing, you know. That's, that's a bit boring for me. <laughs> uh, emotional. Emotional. Uh, here's, here's the good news. Uh, if should you happen to come to our class, you are not required to be emotionally calm before you arrive. Because this energy, this all-pervading energy of the divine, seems to be a panacea, panacea for, for everything. Uh, we've been fortunately witnessed uh, st students who, who come, you know, for whatever personal reason that they come breaking down in tears and hysteria, that even in as short a space as 10 minutes during the first lesson, they spontaneously regain their calm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, and then that, and that's all a bit la di da. However, uh, what's been brought to our attention in these last years of uh, perhaps a, a direct connection be between uh, our Tai Chi and real meditation is that they awakens spontaneously uh, a spiritual dimension in the student. Now, most of my students uh, don't come to me for a specific spiritual purpose at all. So it's all it's always the, the, the delight for them and for me, when accidentally, incidentally, <laughs> during learning, they, they find a, a spiritual dimension or component awakening in themselves. And then they start the seeking us. But quite a part of, apart from this seeking is about the state, there we say, it's a state of grace we often find ourselves incidentally taken to when we practice Yuan Qi, Tai Qi, right? Uh, so, for me, if I can sum it all, all up, you know, uh, live life in grace. Thank you very much. Thank you for this uh, talk and uh, for sharing your experiences, your Thank mission, you for this opportunity. your vision, and uh, hope that you also enjoy this video. And if you want to get in contact with uh, Yuan Chi Tai Chi Chuan, then please visit uh, the constantbalance.com website and uh, write an email uh, directly to Sifu. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you once Aron. again. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We cut. Yeah.